Right, we're just going to quickly run through a very basic case build. Select a new project, we'll give it a name. You can assign it to a customer, but for now we'll just keep it unassigned and we'll choose a case 50-50 top and bottom as a starting point. Now we have our materials pane here. So we'll stick with nine millimeter or 9.5 millimeter hexaboard. We'll choose a single angle. We'll choose a lid extrusion. That'll be lid and base. These red crosses just mean that if I wanted to, I could delete that and choose something else. The green ticks mean that they are linked. So for instance, I will choose a brace and that will automatically stay the same top and bottom and then corners just select one type of corner and that will apply to lid and base so we can continue here we have the initial case build complete ready for latches handles and wheels so we're going to go to place a place a latch choose a latch it will now automatically sense where that latch can go select an anchor point this is the point that the measurement remembers itself from. So for instance, we've chosen the left anchor point. So it makes sense for me to position my latch on the left. So it will now maintain this measurement that I set from here to here. The measurements can either be from the boundary as shown in the blue line, or if you want to work from the center or from the cutout. So maybe you want to be 100 from the cutout to the end of the wood panel. That's what you'd achieve by doing that. Apply, okay. And here we have our first latch on the case. We can quickly mirror that by clicking on the latch, clicking on the work planes, and that's now mirrored those latches round. There we have all the latches in place. If I edit this master latch, so the position I change, you can use the values down here or the predefined. All the latches will now update accordingly. To place handles, you need to be viewing the face that you want them on. Place, choose a handle. And here we have the reference points again. I want to keep this one relative to the bottom left. So we can obviously do this by measurement or drag and drop. And again, for ease, I want to mirror this round, select the hardware select the work plane and now it's mirrored those handles across and around those work planes if i want to add some casters i'm going to choose choose a full caster board select the face you want it on we can now choose whether we want this caster board to be offset so we can maybe have a five millimeter offset all the way around vastly offset depending on your design criteria and then we're going to place some casters onto this We'll choose a break caster, reference it top left. And because I've referenced it top left, I'm going to place the caster top left. And I can enter a specific measurement or I can just use presets or drag and drop. I can now for ease mirror the wheel, just get slightly better visibility on the work plane. The wheels are now mirrored and I now have four break casters on this case. It doesn't have to be all breaked. You could add one break, one non breaked and then mirror those over. So now we have a case where everything is referenced and we can change the dimensions and all of the hardware remembers its reference point and will maintain the measurement that you originally set from the reference point. So the handles have stayed at the same height from the floor. The latches have stayed the same distance from the end. And with the casters, they've stayed the same distance from the corners. Of course, we could add lots of other pieces of hardware, but this is just a general overview of building your first simple case.